All right, let's begin. So we're gonna begin standing. Let me take my, my sweater off. We're beginning standing in our mountain pose, also called Tadasana in Sanskrit. So step your feet hips distance. Take a moment to just bring your weight in a circle around your feet. You can hold on to your hips, release your arms by your side. Take a look at your feet, are your toes pointing forwards? And then see if you can take this circle in the other direction. So hopefully you can see I'm doing these little circular circles like um, and my feet are the only thing that's connected to the floor. And play around with pushing yourself a little bit off balance, just really waking up through the feet this morning, first thing. And then slowly start to make the circle smaller and smaller with soft knees, slowly until you come in towards your center point. From your center, you can reach your arms to the side, breathe in. Take your stretch, and as you exhale, you're gonna reach your arms to the side, soften your knees, and take your time as you take a fold front and down. So no rush here. Feel through your spine as you completely relax your head, your arms to the floor. Stay here for a moment. Feel free to sway a little bit from left to right. Push to one foot and then into the other. Or to stay in stillness and feel your spine decompress, what works for you this morning. And then slowly press through your heels, slowly rolling your spine all the way up again. Take your time. Roll your shoulders back behind you. Inhale, reach your arms to the side and up. Come to your tippy toes. Exhale, drop your heels down once again, folding front and down. Relax your spine at the bottom, relax your head. Once again, take a breath here, in and out. And then your next inhalation, slowly roll up. Press through the center of your heels. Can we do one more? Inhale, reach your arms to the side and up. Rise to your toes. Exhale, heels drop, fold. Front and down. Beautiful. Stay. And then slowly roll up on your inhalation. Give your shoulders a couple slow circles back. Reach your, ear, your shoulders up to your ears. And then as you reach them back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Beautiful. And then let's reverse the circle. Again, dragon wings, you're trying to open it up. And then both arms, reaching with your fingers, reach your fingers front and up. And exhale like a backstroke straight behind you. One more, front and up. And back behind you. Just your right arm now, reaching your right arm front and up. Keeping the rest of your body really still and steady. Just the right arm goes for three circles. Try not to twist, keeping it stiff and steady, the rest of the body. And now for the next three, start to make a bigger circle. You can twist your spine to look back a little bit. You can even see, you can graze the floor. Make as big a circle as you can with your right fingers. Explore the space around you. And then slowly reach tall, and we're switching. Left arm, reaching with the fingers, trying this big circle, but keeping our torso facing forwards, trying to relax the neck. And then let's begin to explore new space. You can bend the knees, you can go across your body, draw a big glow. One more. Beautiful. As we rise all the way up, reach both of your arms up to the sky. Inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to cactus your elbows. So reach your elbows to the side and down. 
Inhale, reach them straight up. Exhale, reach elbows to the side and down. One more. Inhale, straight up. And exhale, the cactus. Inhale, reach them straight up. And as you exhale, take your soft fold over your legs. Find the floor with your fingertips. And then step our right foot all the way back on the mat. And drop your right knee down. From here, take a moment to just push your hips towards the floor and then move away. So we're just kind of easing our hips into it. Feeling your right hip flexor this morning. And then walk your left foot slightly to the corner of the mat. So it's on the outside of your left hand. You have a bit more space in front of your belly. Same thing, bringing your hips forwards, coming closer to the floor and then moving away. Now stay with your left knee bent. Bring your right hand on the floor and let's start to open up your left arm to the sky. So we're twisting to this left knee. Push your right hand into the floor away. Now if your right knee or either knee ever gets a bit um, painful on the floor, you can always put a cushion underneath the right knee. It helps tremendously. Last thing here, bring your left hand to your left knee and gently nudge the knee away from you. So you should feel a bit of rotation of your thigh bone in your hip socket. You might even come to the knife edge of your left foot. So your inner left foot is lifting off. Now try to open your chest to this new space you create and slowly step the foot down and bring it back to the center of the mat. So it's in between your hands. Inhale here. As you exhale, lift your right knee off the floor. Push the right heel back, then slowly drop it down. Slow five of these. So take it slow. We're really trying to push the right heel back and feel that opening from the right hip flexor. Let's do two more. And one more. Drop the right knee down. Walk your fingertips back. Maybe we stretch your left leg completely. And then see if you can take a slight little lean forward, slight little fold over this left leg. If that's really intense, you can stay up and lean forward like this. This is our half splits, half huddle one posture. Make sure your left foot is flexed. And now let us come forwards again. Left knee bends. Step your right foot all the way up to your left. Take your fold here. Inhale, roll your spine all the way up. Reach your arms to the side and up. Hook your thumbs, create a little butterfly with your hands, and take a stretch to the right. Inhale, straight up. Exhale, take your stretch to the left. Inhale, straight up. On exhale, soften your knees, folding front and down. This time, step your left foot all the way back. Drop your left knee down. Take a moment to bring your hips away from the posture, away from the depth, and slowly move into it. Like you're trying to bring some lubrication to the joints. When ready, heel toes right foot to the corner of the mat. So your right hand comes inside of the right foot. Do the same thing. Your hips are just a bit more open here. This should feel good in the mornings. Easing into the body, beautiful. Now from here, reach your right arm up to the sky. Really enjoy this opening of your chest, your spine. Push through your left hand. And then see if you can nudge your right knee away from you, coming into the knife edge of this right foot. And just shine your heart open in this beautiful space towards this right corner. Take that breath in and let it go. Step your right foot down and step it towards the center of the mat again. Right fingertips down. Now let's lift our left knee off the floor five slow times. Lifting it up, 
pushing the left heel back. Really trying to make that left leg even longer. Two more where you are. Just look down at the mat. Soft eyes. Soft drishti gaze, they say. And from here, step your left foot all the way towards the top of the mat. Inhale and exhale full. Now your feet are hips distance. Bring your feet so that they point out at an angle slightly, like a little V. And then see how low your hips can go when you sit all the way down. Now this depends on the structure of our hips. Some of us might have to stay up here. Some of us can go into this passive Manasana squat and feel good. So see where you have to be. Hold the floor if you need for a bit of support. We're only here for five little repetitions. So inhale here, open your chest. On exhale, send your hips to the sky, point your toes forwards and fold. Stretch the back of your legs. Inhale, turn your toes out and take your little passive squat. Exhale, fold. Inhale to sit down in your squat. Exhale, fold over your legs, feel your hamstrings. Two more. Inhale to bend. Exhale to straighten. Last one. Inhale to bend. And exhale to straighten. Step both of your feet all the way on the back of the mat. And then drop your knees down. Slowly bend through your elbows. Let your hips dip forwards first. And then your belly button. Then your ribs, your chest. Now bring your fingertips to the outside of your mat, like you're holding crabs, thumbs facing you. And then slowly push through your fingertips and lift your spine off the floor, like you're peeling it off. Exhale, lower. Inhale to your oscillating cobra. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to dip down. Inhale, lifting high. Feel long through your back body. Exhale, slow with control, lower. Final one. Breathe in and rise up. And exhale, slowly dip down. Bring your hands below your shoulders. Send your hips over your knees. Then tuck your toes and find downward facing dog for a moment. Step your feet slightly closer towards you. Than normal. So you feel that your heels are a little bit closer to the earth. Push through your hands, feel free to soften knees if that's where you need to be, and take a breath in here. A soft, smooth, calming breath. And now from here, drop to your knees again. And we're going to come into a straddle. So we actually onto our bums, onto a seat. So see if you can just bring your hips to one side, your feet to the other side, and then open up your legs and you're sitting down. Whichever way you can get into your seat. Once you're here, open your legs as wide, wide as it feels comfortable for you. So it can be super wide, just a slight V. Now flex, point, flex, point your feet. Take a moment to just feel yourself sitting down. Feel your legs turning on. Now keep your legs flexed. Bring your fingertips in front of you. Just take a moment to sway left to right. Try to keep that straight spine. Breathing here. And now turn to face your right leg and frame your right foot. Keep that left to right motion, but trying to really keep that center being your right foot. Like you're trying to travel in that direction with your heart. You can even hold on to your, your shin, your calf. And then maybe stay here, twisting and slightly leading into the right leg. Inhale and pull your chest forwards. Exhale, push the leg away around your spine. Inhale, pulling your chest in between your arms to the leg. 
Exhale, round your spine. One more. Inhale, reaching your chest forward. Exhale, push your leg. Inhale, sit tall. Walk your fingertips, fingertips to frame your left foot and start to take that left to right movement over your left knee. As you're here, you're noticing your right hip is somewhere to the right, feeling something as you reach over to the left. It's all connected here. And now I'm ready. Stay with your chest, your belly facing this leg. It pulls onto the leg. Inhale and pull your chest even more in between your biceps, your arms. Exhale, physically push the leg away, round your spine. Inhale, reaching forwards, maybe lower. Exhale, reach away. One more. Can we keep pushing the right foot into an imaginary wall as well? Exhale, reach away. And inhale into a sitting, sitting position. And just bring your right foot in, bending at your right knee. Option here to stay like this, or if your left knee is happy, you're going to bend your left knee and send the left foot behind you. So we're in this little bit like a 90, 90 degree angle thing with the legs. Now bring your fingertips in front of your right shin, and we're going to slowly lower our chest towards the floor and then push away a couple times. So you have the support of, your, of the floor here, of your hands, pushing back up, lowering down, trying to keep your hips anchored to the floor behind you, pushing up. Let's do one more. Maybe we go lower and push up. Sit tall, hold on to your right knee and your right ankle. Now, can you try and lift your left foot off the floor just three times? Really using some joint mobility here. Maybe small, tiny little lifts, a centimeter high. Maybe you can't even see mine, perhaps. Just three. And then now lift your left knee off the floor and step your left foot down for five. And four, take your time. And three, maybe the left foot doesn't go flat down. Two, and a final one. Bring your left hand behind your left knee as a target to push your left knee in towards. Squeeze and slowly lower. Open up your legs into that straddle posture again. And from here, reach your right arm down to the right side in line with your hip and take a side stretch towards the right. So reach your left arm overhead. Let your body dip in that direction. And now take a circle with this left arm, reaching behind you, in front of you, towards the right foot. And a couple times in both directions. Reversing here. You can always drop to your right elbow as well, or stay high up. And when ready, lift your left arm up to the sky. Use a bit of core strength to lift you straight up and tip in the other direction. Right arm overhead. Take your time to feel that stretch. And then begin to take circles, reaching behind you with your right arm. Feel free to close your eyes here. And reversing after three. Really allow your spine to move with your shoulder here. And after three, reach your right arm up to the sky. Use a bit of core strength to lift yourself all the way tall. And then we're going to bend your left foot and left knee in towards your right inner thigh. You can stay here or join me for the full version, bending your right foot, your right knee behind. Now frame your left shin in front. And then begin to take that little dip forwards in front of your left shin, your left calf, leaning forwards on your fingertips, just around five. I'm going to use your fingertips here to help you out. Two more. Enjoy this moment for yourself. And one more. Sitting tall, hold on to your left leg somewhere and then try to lift your right foot 
off the floor three times. Really squeeze. You should feel that something's happening in the hip here. And after three, you're going to lift the right knee off the floor, step your right foot down, and then slowly lower the right knee again for five times. Feel free to shake your leg if you need to. Two more times, staying here with your body. And on your last one, bring your right hand behind your right knee as a target. Try to push your right knee into the right hand, yes. And slowly release. From here, let's make our way onto the mat, onto our knees and hands. So bring your hands to the top of the mat. Bring your knees down below your hips. Tuck your toes under. Take a moment to draw some circles with your shoulders, pouring the weight in a circular motion over your palms, your wrists. And then reverse that direction. Beautiful. Coming to center, let's take a cat cow. We're going to begin to move into our heart opening little flow. To really focus on the space of your heart. In yoga, it's the energetical center, not your physical heart and left. So let's drop our belly, reach our chest in between our arms, inhale. And on exhale, push the ground away. On inhale, drop our belly. Reach our chest between our arms, sit bones to the sky. Exhale, push away. And just one more. Inhale into your lovely cow. Exhale into your cat. Walk your hands back to meet your knees. Keep your toes tucked under just for a moment. It'll start to feel pretty intense, but feel the stretch of the bottom of your, um, of the soles of your feet. And then reach your right arm up to the sky. Take two back strokes here. Reach your left arm up to the sky. Two back strokes here. And now reach both arms up to the sky. Turn your thumbs to face back behind you and try to pulse your arms overhead and behind without moving too much of our spines. It's really about the shoulders here. A couple of times, feeling how far back our arms can go. Beautiful, let's do three more, two more, and one more. Last thing here, reach your arms up. On exhale, cactus your elbows. This time, allow your heart to shine forwards. One more, inhale, fingertips go up. On exhale, cactus heart opens. Inhale, fingertips come up. Find the floor, slowly lean forwards. Untuck your toes, tap your feet. And we're gonna sit back on our, on our heels again. If sitting on your heels is uncomfortable, come into cross leg. If not, sitting back on your heels, taking a moment here to just connect to what the heart chakra means. So I invite you to place your left hand on your heart and your right hand towards your belly, right above your belly button. And then from here, close your eyes. We're going to practice some breathing to the count of five. So inhaling, inhaling for five, holding it for five, exhale for five, holding it out for five. So just try to follow with me, no worries if you feel you have a different rhythm or you get really hungry for air, just try. So with eyes closed, breathe in, just your normal breath in and let it go. Inhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold out five, four, three, two, one, inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it in, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, five, four, three, two, 
One, inhale for five. Hold at the top for five. Slow exhale for five. Hold out for five. Practice one whole cycle in your own head, counting to yourself. After one full cycle, slowly begin to introduce your natural rhythm of breathing that comes to you. And place your right hand over your left palm so you feel you're embracing your energetical heart center. Take a moment to visualize a glow a color of green coming from this space in all three dimensional directions, so not just into your hands, but out by the sides of your ribs, behind in between your shoulder blades, this pulsing, vibrant color of green. In yoga, we use certain symbols to help us as tools to understand certain things in our lives. The chakras are visualized or understood as little energetical points, centers in your body. And out of seven, our heart chakra is located right in the middle, so between the chakras above it and the ones below it. And why that's important for us just this morning is because we can see it as a way for our connection between our heart and our mind. The earth and the sky or the divine the spirit, whatever you believe in. And when your heart chakra is in balance, then you should be able to feel love, to give love, to feel you can express yourself, to feel you can trust others, that you are generous and receptive. And when it's out of balance, you may find yourself feeling a little, little bit hard-hearted or heartbroken, sad or lonely, or disconnected with your true self. So today we try to tap into this chakra just as a little tool for ourselves to hopefully invite a bit more exploration and a bit more joy into our practice. Slowly open up your eyes, release your hands from your heart, Walk your hands all the way forwards on the mat, tuck your toes under, and lift your knees for downward facing dog. On inhalation, let's reach our right leg up to the sky. As you exhale, step it forwards and drop your left knee down. We did this a lot yesterday, reaching your arms up in Anjane, but this time we're gonna stay here a little bit longer. As you exhale, clasp your hands behind your head. Now for a moment, move out of the floor, move out of your hips. Inhale here. And now as you exhale, feel free to lean a little bit more into the floor. Keep the strength of your legs, we're not just sinking down. And now in your next inhalation, push your head into your hands. And try to really create this beautiful arch of your spine using all of your spine, not just your lower back, not just your arms, creating that really smooth curve at the top. Inhale here. On exhale, slowly forwards, hands come down. Step your right foot all the way back towards downward facing dog. Bring your heels towards the left and then bend your knees. We've got a little twizzle here. Now stretch your legs and come back to downward facing dog. Bring your heels towards the right. Bend your knees. So feel your left side of the body open up. Now stretch your legs, push your legs into the floor, 
and roll to your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes up to the sky. Exhale, step it forwards. Drop your right knee down, rise with your arms. Move away from the floor and then interlace your hands behind your head. And now move closer in towards the floor. Inhale, push your head into your hands. Look up. Feel your, feel your armpits opening up. Feel your elbows spreading wide. Exhale, push your head forwards. Hands come down. Lift your right knee off the floor. Step your left foot back. Drop to your knees if you need. And slowly lower all the way towards your belly. Inhale, roll your shoulder blades back. Point your toes back. Come into a low cobra. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale to your low cobra again. Exhale, slowly lower down. Push through your hands, come towards your knees. And then with your hips above your knees, so not behind, not in front, start to walk your hands further up on the mat. And then so far up that your forehead can rest on the floor. Now, as your forehead rests on the floor, this is a little modified version. The traditional version of puppy pose or anahatasana, you have your chin on the floor, looking forwards. But that might be, it might be a little bit intense for your neck. So feel free to keep your forehead on the floor. And imagine that your spine is this beautiful ski slope all the way from your lower back towards the back of your head. Take another breath here. And then keep your elbows on the floor. Start to shift your weight forwards. Bring your knees further back and drop your hips to the ground. Keep your elbows underneath your, your um, shoulders, your hands are down. Find yourself in sphinx pose. Now really pull the mat towards you, like you're pulling your chest forwards. Look in front, take a moment here. Breathe into that heart space. Beautiful. And from here, slowly lower your chest down. Lift your arms back behind you, palms facing up, and start to lift your chest off the floor. Inhale. Exhale, lower your chest down. Inhale, lift both your arms, your chest lifts up. Exhale, lower down. One more, inhale, lift. And exhale, to lower. Can we just do our legs? So rest your head down and try to lift your knees off the floor. Squeeze your glutes, point your toes. And lower, just for three. Lifting your legs off the floor and lowering. One more. And lower. Now let's try both. Lift your chest, your shoulders, followed by your legs, your knees. Reach your arms further up. Inhale. As you exhale, bring your hands by your ribs. Drop to the tops of your feet and come into a higher cobra. So push through your hands and find this beautiful heart opening towards the front of the room. Look at something in front of you. As you exhale, push your hips. All the way back, downward facing dog. Take a moment to breathe into the space. Breathe into your spine. On inhale, lift your right leg all the way up. Exhale, step it forwards. Drop your left knee down. Inhale, arms go up. Cross your hands behind your head. As you exhale, reach your hands away. So reaching them long as you look up. Beautiful, lean forwards, hands come down. Bring your right leg all the way up to the sky. Inhale. On exhale, come into a side plank. So roll to the outer edge of your left foot. Stack your right foot on top of the left. Reach your right arm up. And if possible, over. Feel your heart has space to shine in front of it. And meet downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes to the sky. Exhale, step it forwards. Left knee goes, the right knee goes down. Rise up. Hands behind your head. Stretch your arms away as you look up. Hands come down. 
Lift your right knee and sweep your left leg up to the sky. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot. Stack your left on top of the right. Side plank. Come and find downward facing dog again. Breathe in here. On exhale, drop to your knees. Sit back into your kneeling posture. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale to cactus your arms. Open your heart to the front. One more. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale to cactus. Inhale, arms go up. On exhale, find the floor. Lift your knees and walk all the way towards the top of the mat. Inhale to lift halfway up. Exhale, give yourself a hug. Stay low, squeeze in. Feel the back of your legs this morning. On inhale, lift with your chest all the way front and up. Circle your arms to the side and up. Now I'm going to share something wonderful with you. As you exhale, circle your arms to the side and find your lower back. Turn your elbows to face behind you. Now push it to your lower back and lift your heart up. Inhale. Exhale, your heart guides you front and down. Soft to knees, drop your hands. Inhale, lift with your chest. Circle your arms to the side and up. Exhale, circle your arms to the side. Find your lower back. Inhale, lift your heart up. Push your hips forwards. Exhale, heart guides you front and down. Wonderful stretch. Let's do it one more time. Inhale to rise. Circle your arms. Exhale, circle your arms behind you. Inhale, lifting up. Hips go forwards. Exhale, heart leads you all the way front and down. Inhale to lift halfway up. And on exhale, step both of your feet all the way back on the mat and lower all the way towards your belly. Now from here, make a little pillow, a little brace for yourself with your elbows and your hands. Try to shimmy your hips so that your feet, your legs are resting really on the top of them, not the insides of your thighs, not the outsides, your hips distance. Now from here, bend your right knee and try to relax your chest down. Reach your right hand to the outside of your right ankle or to your, the top of your right foot. Now from here, you're going to push your right foot into your hand to lift your chest off. And now flex the foot and try to lift just the right knee off the floor. Your left hand is here to help you. Slowly lower down. Slowly relax your right foot away from you and switch. So right elbows in front of you, bend your left knee. Reach your left hand to the outside of the ankle or to the foot. Inhale and push the foot into the hand. Flex your foot. Now reach your left knee off the floor like you're kicking the ceiling. Keep your chest lifted and then slowly lower down. Now we'll try both legs, finding our bow posture, all right? So bend both of your knees and find the outside of both of your feet. Inhale, push the feet into your hands. Exhale, flex the feet, lift the knees off the floor and feel that you're really open at your shoulders, you're juicy, you're coming onto your belly. Can you take one more breath here? Lifting tall. As you exhale, slowly lower to your belly. Slowly relax your feet away, bring your hands as a pillow underneath your face and give your hips just a little shimmy left to right. Beautiful. Hands below your shoulders. Come on to your knees, tuck your toes under, lift to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg up to the sky and step it forwards. Bend your back knee. So usually we come up with a straight back leg. This time, bend your back knee and roll your spine up over your hips. Reach your arms up to the sky. And on exhale, no, sorry, reach your hand up to the sky, bend your elbows behind your head. And then on exhale, stretch your back leg and your arms away. 
we got two things going on. Lean forwards and then step your left foot up to the top of the mat. Rise up with your arms. On exhale, palms to your heart. Bend your left knee and start to balance on your right foot. From here, same thing as before when we were on our bellies. Grab a hold of the outside of your left foot. Squeeze the heel to the boot and hold your heart with your right hand. Feel free to stay here and just feel already the beautiful stretch. If you like to take Natarajasana, you're going to slowly lean forwards. Push the foot into the hand like before. Feel free to flex the foot. Keep leaning, guiding with your heart as your foot lifts back and up. And we take a beautiful posture here, a beautiful feeling of openness, of trust with the ground. When you're done with that, slowly come back and then release your left foot and step it all the way back in the mat. Go forward, just hands come down. I want you to sweep your right leg all the way up to the sky. Open your right hip, bend your right knee. Point your right knee straight up to the sky. And now from here, shift your shoulders over your wrists. And can you step your right foot behind you, behind your left leg, and step on your left foot so you're on both feet. Send your hips, your heart up, arm goes overhead. So you've got a flip dog, a wild thing here. Pushing through the left hand, reaching your right arm overhead, maybe looking overhead. Inhale, exhale, hands come down, down facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, step it forwards. Bend your back knee and roll yourself all the way up. Bring your palms behind your head and I'll reach your right leg straight behind you as you stretch, stretch your um, arms straight as well. Lean forwards and step your right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, circle your arms to the side now. Exhale, palms to your heart. Hold your heart with your left hand. Slowly pour the weight to the left foot. Bend your right knee and find the outside of the right ankle. Feel free to stay or start to lean forwards. Push the foot into the hand. Make sure you're playing here, you're having fun. And if you want, you can flex the foot. Try to lift and push into the hand even more, keeping your hips square, reaching your left arm forwards, open heart, steady, steady body. When you're ready to come out of it, slowly moving back into your stand, release the right foot, step it back. Hands come down, inhale, left leg goes up to the sky. Open your hips, bend your left knee. Point your left knee to the ceiling. Now look over your right shoulder. You should see your left foot dangling there. Now look underneath your right armpit and try to step your left foot right on the floor there. Bend both of your knees, lift your left arm off the floor, and then start to send your hips, your heart to the sky. Wild thing. So here you're really, you're a wild thing. Your heart is as open as it can possibly be. Slowly begin to dismantle and make your way back to downward facing dog. Inhale and on exhale, slowly drop to your knees. Inhale, lift your right arm up to the sky. And on exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left armpit. Start to look towards the left and see if you can keep reaching. Drop to your right shoulder and rest your head down. So we're in a little twist here. Can you stay here feeling safe? If you like, you can reach your left arm overhead. Take a couple breaths into the twist here. When ready to come out of it, left hand in front of your face, push the floor away and bring your right hand down. Inhale, left arm reaches up to the sky, open your heart. Exhale, thread your left arm underneath your right armpit. Keep reaching as far as you can. Bend the right elbow and then lower the left shoulder 
the left temple to the floor. Reach your right arm overhead. Breathe. Soft, deep breaths. And then bring your right hand in front of your face. Slowly push the floor away, come back towards your tabletop and send your knees to one side, send your feet to one side, sitting back, send your feet out in front of you, and we're going to come on to our back. Slowly lower down. And once you're on your back, step your feet slightly closer in towards you. So you can feel the ground under your feet. You can really push your feet into the floor. Now reach your arms by your, by your sides, by your hips, palms facing down. We're gonna stretch into our glute bridge. So breathe in here. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone under, tip your pubic bone towards you, start to lift your hips up. Keep pressing through your feet and slowly rise so your hips keep reaching up. Squeeze your glutes. Breathe in. And exhale, slowly roll down in reverse to so feel your upper, then middle, then lower spine imprint to the floor. Then your glutes relax down. Inhale, exhale, tip your tailbone under, pubic bone towards you. Squeeze your glutes, lift your hips. Stay at the top. Try to keep your knees from, from swaying open and then slowly lower down. Imprint your spine on the floor. One final one, lifting up. Stay at the top. Try to work your shoulders closer towards one another, and you can even interlace your hands underneath your back, so you're pushing your arms into the floor just for a little bit more support. When ready, Slowly release your fingers, create space underneath you to lower yourself down. Final option is to do that again, take a stretch, or if you know how to practice wheel at home, this is the perfect transition. So a wheel is you go into a bridge, we were just in a bridge, our hearts, our legs are ready for this, our shoulders are ready. Turn your hands, so that your palms face down beside your ears and your fingers face the front of the mat or face your feet. And then you're gonna push through your hands and peel your head off, hips go up, finding your wheel, making sure your whole back body is engaged, your glutes, your legs, only do it if you feel safe. Stay for as long as you feel you want to stay in it and you can stay integrated. And then when you're ready, slowly lowering yourself down. Slowly rolling back onto your body. Beautiful. Bring your knees to your armpits. So not to your chest, to your armpits. And take a little baby rock left to right. From here, flex your feet. And imagine if you want to walk on the ceiling, press your feet towards the ceiling and grab a hold of the outsides of your feet with a knife edge with your hands. Now pull your knees towards the sides of your waist like you are a happy baby. And slowly rock left to right. So this is a very beautiful Posture, very fun posture to practice towards the end. Happy baby. And when you're ready, you're gonna slowly bring your feet together, slide your hands to your ankles. Open your knees wide and see maybe you can lift your head, give your toes a little kiss or just an imaginary kiss from a bit of a distance. And slowly relax your head down. Glide your hands up your knees and then push your knees away, stepping your feet down. Stretch one leg on the mat, 
and then the other leg. And then shimmy your shoulders underneath you. So you're so making yourself comfortable here. And from here, before we enter into Shavasana, I have prepared a little med meditative practice. So while you lie down, bring your, your hands, your arms by your side, just like Shavasana. And then I want you to slowly curl your fingers in and imagine you are a bud of a flower and then slowly curl your fingers open and feel that that flower is blooming organically. So this is the motion we're gonna do with our breath for about five minutes. And to accompany this beautiful motion with our breath, I would like you to invite this sound, this message in Sanskrit. It is so hum, so hum. It basically means I am that, or I am she, I am he, you can use I am that. And you can choose it to mean I am what I am and nothing else. And this meditation should help you maybe release something that you feel you're holding on to. It should get you in touch with your identity. So from here, I want you to inhale and open your fingers wide, close your eyes. As you exhale, slowly curl your fingers in, create that butt. Open up your fingers to your inhale and think of so. Slowly curl your fingers in, hum. In your mind, open your fingers, so. Curl your fingers in, hum. Can you do this with your breath? That this beautiful chant, this beautiful mantra resonates just in your own mind. And as you open and you close your fingers, your buds, let this be your moment to again get in touch with your heart, feeling open to receiving and open to giving, feeling empathy and love, having compassion for yourself in this moment and off the mat. Continue practicing so calm. For a few more moments, moving with your breath. If your mind wanders, slowly bring it back to your mantra, to the feeling of your fingers, the relaxation, the resting of your body. In your own mind, let the mantra of Soham grow quieter. 
and start to fade into the background. And as this mantra slowly melts away, you can let your fingers rest without any movement, just where they naturally go, maybe a slight little curl of the fingers. You can bring your awareness towards your feet and your toes, to the air that may be circulating in your room. And then begin to scan higher up towards your calves, your knees, your thighs and your hips, resting heavy into the earth. And as you trace higher up towards your heart, let this place be glowing, pulsating green. And bring your mind towards your open, relaxed shoulders down to your fingertips, your relaxed neck and heavy, heavy head. Feel that your forehead is open. Your cheekbones are shining. And your earlobes are just dripping like wax into the floor. And stay in your Shavasana for a few more final minutes and enjoy. Slowly bring some movement to your fingers and your toes. Take some bigger breaths deep into your belly. And start to move your face around, your facial muscles. And drop your chin to your right shoulder, your left shoulder. And start to bend at your knees, your elbows, and hug your knees to your chest. Give your ankles some movements and a spine or spine, a bit of a rock and roll. And then rest on your right or your left side body. And slowly push the ground away, peel yourself up into your seat. Meet your arms to the side and up, palm touching and touching at the top. And bring your palms towards your heart the chakra that we practiced a little bit today to say in tune with. Take a moment to bow in towards yourself, giving your body, your energy, your spirit a thanks for arriving at your mat today, for trying to be open, for exploring. And I thank you so much for joining me, all of you yogis. <laughs> <laughs>